What's like your favorite part of being out on the road with the DW crew? Hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know. The silence. <laughs> These are clearly not rehearsed. For the first time in Discover Wisconsin history. Honestly, this is going to be one memory that's going to stay with me for a while. The DW crew hit the road together in an RV. <laughs> so, it totally was a family vacation. <laughs> there's a lot of quality bonding going on, I think. There, there was a lot of laughing and there was quite a bit of screaming as well. There yeah, was we some, had uh, the bar looking back at us. Yeah. It's a very competitive game. Yeah, we were all pretty competitive. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Our destination, Turtle Lake and Barron County. <sighs> Are we there yet? Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. The village of Turtle Lake is located at the junction of highways 8 and 63 in Barron and Polk counties, only a little over an hour away from the Twin Cities in northwestern Wisconsin. No matter where you're coming from, it's a beautiful drive, and between the St. Croix Casino, recreational trails, and a great local business community, it's an ideal road trip stop or final destination. And being that Eric and I are no strangers to discovering new places, we knew exactly where to go first to get the scoop on Turtle Lake, the local bar. Hey! So Jenny, I hear you are like the unofficial town historian. <laughs> Is this true? So you know, I know all the a little stories. bit. <laughs> so this was built in 1920. Yes. And but back then, I mean, it's called Hotel Bar and Grill, but it actually functioned as a hotel back then. Yes. Okay. Yes. So when it was built, obviously it was Prohibition. Mm -hmm. um, so it was built as a hotel, but there was always a restaurant here. It was a little bit more formal dining with tables and white linens and, and that sort of thing. But up front, we had uh, a lunch counter. So all of the men who were working on the rail lines or the local farmers or whatever would come and have their lunch at the lunch counter. But it was 10 sleeping rooms upstairs at the cost of $1 per night. Oh, wow. Mm. So, a dollar a night. Yes. Yeah. And then one shared bath between the downstairs and the upstairs. What are some of the big stories like early on in Turtle Lake's history? The Turtle Lake Museum is actually right up the hill and they have a lot of great displays about the farming industry, even our soldiers, then and all the various wars that they that they fought in and the, yeah, the logging, the, the rail lines and the businesses of Turtle Lake. But the location of the town came to be because we had two rail lines that crossed here. So railway traffic was important and they actually crossed right outside the front door. As the owner of Hotel Bar and Grill, what puts a smile on your face? What brings you that absolute joy, you know, being here at the Hotel Bar and Grill? I just love the people. I mean, it, and I know most of them. So even a lot of the tourists who come here have become regulars to the area because they come back year after year. Oh, okay. It is very unique and cozy when you walk in. Even the ceiling tiles are interesting here. Yes. You can't say that about a lot of places. And really, there's a not a better way to get to know the feel of a destination, in my opinion, than hitting up the local bar. Some of my favorite memories I've forgotten have taken place at local bars. <laughs> that is good way to go. Mm -hmm. The rail lines that once intersected right outside the hotel bar and grill still to this day bring traffic to the area. It just looks a little different now. The Cattail Trail and the Northern Railroad Trail are awesome trails. I've been using them since I was a kid. I was born and raised here, so I've been on them as long as I can remember. The scenery and the terrain on these trails, I don't think you can beat it. Uh, you're going through woods, you're going across marshes, swamps, fields. You really get to see a side of the country that you can't see by a car. So I would recommend coming and ride these trails because there are trails for every level of rider from the beginner. There's trails you can take them nice and easy and slow all the way up to if you want to grab mud holes and kind of rip it around corners and stuff. There's a little bit of everything for everybody. Start mapping out your Wisconsin road trip by downloading the Discover Wisconsin channel on any streaming device.